well just clean it up around the goat pen a little bit and uh you know not something that i like to have to do in our situation because with our little goat barn setup here being so compacted or so condensed i guess if you would and our pens being so small we don't have a good way to be able to get the tractor in there and just fork uh bedding directly into the tractor bucket so what we have to do is put it on the wheelbarrow take it right outside the gate here uh and then transfer it into the tractor bucket So when you're doing that, you have to double handle it anyway. And so what we do is we just dump it here on the ground, got us a nice big pile, um, and then pick it up into the, into the tractor when we get a chance. So it does mean that we have this pile of you know, dirty bedding laying around, but that's okay. The dogs have found they love to sleep in it, which you would think the dogs would smell absolutely horrendous, but somehow we haven't noticed them being as stinky, even though they sleep in nasty goat bedding. Um, Anyway, so it has a, you know, it has a extra use there at least. But what what made me want to make this video to talk about actually today was the composting effect. So I mean, you guys know this that you know deal with livestock and deal with gardens. Obviously, this is this is compost gold, um, and that's part of what we were looking at for you know sort of a extra advantage by starting to switch from straw over to or from from uh, wood shavings over to straw. So a couple of things, you know, we were using all just pine mini flake, which you can see there's still some pine mini flake in there. Uh, we are still using a little bit of that. What we found is in the, well, we found that the, the straw, it doesn't seem to really absorb moisture like you'd think it would. Uh, I think it's just because the goats kind of, you know, they urinate in a concentrated area. So it seems like the straw lets a lot of the urine pass through and then maybe wicks it up a little bit slower. <coughs> than the wood chips would um so when we when we were clean <coughs> excuse me when we were cleaning out the stalls in the barn we were finding very very wet almost you know standing urine on the barn floor um so what we do in the barn is we put down the the pine mini flake first and then we put the straw on top of that and that seems to have really helped it lets that urine uh sort of pass through the straw and soak into the pine mini flake um, without there being, you know, quite as much concentrated urine, um, on the wood floor of the barn. Now, in all the stalls that are out here in the lean-to area that have a dirt floor, uh, we put down the bigger wood chips, which of course will naturally compost over time, but they're a high permeability as well. We put down the wood chips and then we put the straw on top for the, for the warmth and the comfort aspect of it. So kind of got a couple different things going, but anyway, this has only been piled up out here for maybe a week from the last time they did deep clean on the stalls and I'm sitting here forking through it and I can feel it's no wonder the dogs like to sleep on it because it's nice and toasty warm and maybe the dogs have figured that out maybe they weren't sleeping in it just for comfort maybe they could actually feel that natural heat coming out of it so you know hey there's an idea too you know if you if you have outside dogs they'll probably find they like to sleep on the compost pile too in the winter time but anyway um yeah I was just kind of <coughs> excuse me I was really happy to see this because Either the straw or the wood chips, either way, it's going to be very carbon dense. Obviously, your nitrogen source is coming from the urine in the, um, in, or from, yeah, from the goat urine, uh, and some in the poo, although the, the goat manure is actually pretty cold by its very nature. It's pretty, you can pretty much plant right in it. Um, but this is good because the straw is breaking down. It's composting faster than the wood chips would. It's not as concentrated. It's, it's fluffy. It's loose. So it lets a lot of air get in it. So, you know, we're looking at basically on a cost basis, we're getting more bedding quality out of the straw as far as we, we change the bedding in the stalls maybe once a week. It actually depends on the dough. If we've got a couple of does that we're not sure if they're wormy or what, but their, their, their poo is really, really soft, almost like Play-Doh. And that's just packing into this straw. Um, but the does that have a normal, uh, a normal 
feces right now, having nice little pellets, we're hardly having to change their stalls at all. I mean, you can go in there and try to fork it up and the straw is just loose and light, so we just kind of fluff it and leave it. Um, but yeah, we're having to change it, like I said, more consistently on a couple that have the, the gooier poo, if you will. <laughs> but we're getting more miles out of the straw bale. Uh, a bag of wood shavings that's maybe maybe 30 pounds, costs about $6 at the local TSC. The straw bales that are about 35 to 40 pounds cost $6. Now we had to drive two hours to get them, which we can find them local, hopefully for close to the same price. We just haven't looked that hard. But we're getting more square footage area. We're getting longer life um, and more of a warmth bedding quality because the wood shavings tend to pack and then the goats can't really you know, kind of snuggle down in them like they could with the straw. So, so far we're liking the straw. It seems like we're burning through it really fast, faster than we planned, but at the same time, we'd be burning through as much or more of the wood shavings and um, wouldn't have as much quality. So an idea that we picked up on, you know, our mentor, she was strictly straw. We were strictly wood shavings for a while. We had never tried straw. Now that we tried it, we like it, but I'm looking at the double advantage for today. That was the whole point of this video really was this stuff is already composting up very nicely. Um, so it's going to go out by the garden. I'm going to put it in its own little separate pile. I'm thinking some of this stuff that's actually a little bit lighter and looser. If it's not too bad, some of this, I can actually, you can actually use this for mulch in the garden too, which again, the sawdust, if you try to use the sawdust for mulch, um, it packs too tight. And I've had sawdust actually uh, strip the nitrogen out of the soil and kill plants before as it starts to integrate in so yeah ramblings but just wanted to make a mention of this it's a switch that we made we're happy with it so far we're going to keep it up going forward unless we discover something else crazy and decide to switch back to chips and if we do i'm sure i'll let you know